confessional thing, three or four, can't remember. I don't know, um, one thing, if you're married and you're doing a startup, um, tough. My wife, I mean, this morning, I'm just, as, as activity now with Edgewood is picking up, and, um, you know, I just had a ton of emails to respond to this morning. It's a Saturday morning, I've got to work at 10, and, um, you know, I got emails, and I just want to get through them and reply in a timely fashion to folks that are talking to me. So, um, but you know, your wife, you know, if it, if if there's no green tie to it, not even if there's a speculative green or what you're doing, it's like it's just it comes down to the green stuff at the end of the month. And, um, you know, it comes down to a base, like, you're not working. Oh, I'm working. You No, you're not. I said, just because I'm enjoying it doesn't mean that it's not work. And, um, but ultimately, the activity that I'm doing is going to lead to a return for her, you know, that she wants. I don't believe, I mean, of course I want some sort of return for my time and effort, but it's not a, it's not a priority. Um, I want to just be able to kind of get to work and start, you know, I, I want to pull together the production team. You know, right now I'm in the, I'm in the conceptual design phase and I don't have my crew. I'm going to, you know, I'm talking in terms of Shakespeare because I was, you know, I don't have my crew. I've got people who are interested. I'm talking to different producers to come in to be executive producers or producer credit, you know, on this. Um, and, um, so, it's really tough, it's dealing with a wife and a startup, especially, in, and I don't know, I don't know if it's, it's an Asian wife or a Western wife. So what's my advice? People getting, you know, just keep that in mind, I mean, Try to keep, you know, try to be sensitive to the needs of, of your significant other. And um, what I try to do, I, you know, last night I was up till nearly 2, 3 in the morning because I can work. My wife is sleeping. My son is sleeping. They're right beside me sleeping. I'm on my computer and, and you know, sitting on the floor. Um, sending off emails and chatting with people and tweaking this and tweaking that. You know, it's a an endless process. It's like I call it, it's throwing shit up on the wall and seeing what sticks. So you're constantly throwing shit out. You know, I, I don't need to sound bold or anything, but that's, I mean, it's, 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 it's just crew. That's all it is. It's walking the walk, talking the talk. It's, it really is all about doing it. You know, thinking about it isn't going to do anything. You know, and, it, and, and you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what, like mine, but unless you get out there and do it and start pushing it and start, you know, like a, as a you know, you got to be that bull in that china shop and, um, and just, you know, no is just part of the day and, um, you know, a key, for example, a key investor that I thought really, I mean, knows my work, they, 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 they got over a billion dollars from tobacco they won. So their settlement is huge. He has one of the largest houses in Florida. Very, very wealthy individual. And um, and they, I've kind of followed, I give him along, followed the, on the, you know, on the project. And um, and I really thought that this guy would step up. You know, responsible for bringing the largest tobacco settlement for Florida. I mean, Christ, wouldn't you think a you know, a good thing to to put tobacco money to would be to education. Anyway, but you know, in most there are people who just think about very just about return. Nothing else is important. Uh, the the um, and that's just how they are. And the reason why there's no Shakespeare in Tallahassee anymore is because there's a community full of them. And people wonder what happened to the arts. And it's funny. I mean, I left, and it left, and it and it died. It lasted a year or so, but ultimately it died because 
individuals who are involved in startups, folks that look beyond the dollar, look beyond the return, I think for those individuals, the startup process is something very different. And and it's those individuals that really bring, I think, bring the world to a better place. Um, anyway, that's it for a conventional startup. My name is Michael Traub, I'm the CEO of Eduit, E-D-U-I-T dot O-R-G. We're a nonprofit, for-profit initiative to flatten global education. We're looking for partners, we're looking for angels, we're looking for people with a like mind that want to completely revolutionize the way people learn, play, and whatever. I don't know. Signing off.